in his 213th first grade appointment, Stay your referee line, is Stephen Clark. An understrength Newcastle side. Lincoln Withers, first man with the ball in hand. The final tackle option. Fitzhenry, again a nice kick. And perhaps first points. Billy, I want to see if the Newcastle Blake grounded the ball and then see if he didn't see if the, New if the West Tigers Blake forced it for a try, please. The Tigers elected to put the kick through. Now, Craig Hall, I don't think he know. He doesn't force it. And, well, the question is, does a Cavell get his forearm on the football down with pressure? Sorry, not Cavell, it's Johnny Wilson, I should say. There could be a knock-on. That's the only question. I'd like to have another look at it from the other angle, from this angle, to see whether, he, in fact, he gets down with pressure before a knock-on. And, well, I've got to say, I think that's a try. Once again, the video referee is Bill Harrigan as the crowd and a very partisan West Tigers crowd here at Campbelltown. And it is first points to the Tigers through centre three-quarter Johnny Wilson. They have dominated field position. They have dominated time with the ball. Tim Sheens was a little stuck uh, midway through the season. Joel Kane wasn't quite working out and had a couple of injuries. He's thrown... Oh, Galea has found open space. He has beaten the fullback and the second rower will run 75 metres to claim the Tigers second and don't they love it here at Campbelltown? What a tremendous effort, a solo effort there by Ben Belair. We spoke about the fact that the Tigers, out of their own territory, don't do anything flash, they just hit the ball up, look to get to their kick, and a one-on-one -on -one miss in the end was, was the reason that Ben Belair got through. Great little left foot step, First up, up to beat the line, then to beat Hughes at the fullback position, and he's got speed to burn. All but through the gap. It was a good tackle from Smith. They persist down the short side, and the Tigers attack, not aware of the ball thrown by O'Neill. This is Manu. In fact, they have an advantage on the left-hand side. Manu brushes off Gidley. A beautiful inside ball to Daniel Fitzhenry. An upset in the making at Campbelltown because that's the Tigers' third. Well, I know about an upset, Andy. Plenty of people tip this sort of result. Well, the game's a long way from completion, but the way the Tigers are going, the further this game goes, the further they're going to go away because the, the Knights aren't completing tackles. The Tigers are offloading at will, and, and Willie Manu, he just brushes them aside. Not only that, he gets to the fullback, Mark Hughes, and Mark Hughes can't contain him. Fitzhenry in support, goes over, outpaces the defence, and uh, as we see there, interchange player, Benji Marshall, who's making his debut. He's an 18-year-old, but the Tigers have got big wraps on. Uh, was born in New Zealand, just made the Australian schoolboy side. This is his debut. He's a player of the future. And playing at fullback in Jersey 14, he will be tested immediately. The Knights down the right. Marshall misses. In his first tackle in senior football, and Anthony Quinn will score the first for the Newcastle Knights after 32 minutes. And it was down that left-hand side attack that the Knights penetrated in the end. Terry Hill back locking the scrum. This is Marshall. He is good on his feet, and you can hear the roar from this Campbelltown crowd. Big raps from the West Tigers on Benji Marshall. He is tackled 15 metres out from the line on one. Scandalous. Straight ahead for Big Scando. Brushes off one. Again, they operate the short side. Another try. Their fourth. It is Anthony Lafranchi. Perfect timing for the home side. The Knights looking to bridge the gap in the minute before half time. An inside ball to their fullback Hughes. And we are going to go to the video referee. Billy, just want to check for double movement, mate. It's a matter of whether, whether he, his momentum carried him across to the line. And, well, I don't. Well. He didn't get to the line with the original movement. Now the football looks like it's hit the ground and looks like he's lifted it, placed it again. So 
I think that could well be a double move, but one, it's it's not cut and dry, though. I've got to say that. In fact, the, the camera angle there doesn't do anything to clarify the situation. Ball hits the ground, up he goes, and down again. I, yeah. Can we say that his momentum has stopped at any stage through the tackle? His body is twisting at a funny yep, okay. angle out of the tackle of Winnie Manu. For what it's worth, I agree, but Bill Harrigan doesn't. Penalty for double movement. Michael Hagen is disgusted. Mark Hughes can't believe it. On the left-hand side is Fitzhenry, and that is the way they go. Nice short ball, and what a reward for the Tigers. John Wilson is in, and two minutes into the second half, the Tigers extend their lead. It's a dream start for the Tigers in this second half. On that short side, once again, would have been another four-pointer. Tout. Fitzhenry to Marshall. Good long ball to O'Halloran. He has a little bit of room down the right flank. 24 points separates the two sides. A good second man ball, Marshall. From the ground, Fitzhenry gets it away to Manu. John Wilson is in for a hat trick. The Tigers are in, but the Tigers will win. Problems continue to mount for the Newcastle Knights out wide. One of their biggest dramas is they're not moving forward within the defensive line. They're paddling across the field, giving the Tigers inside passes. He is tackled 12 metres out from his own. Marshall steps one, beats another. Benji Marshall on debut, confusing the Knights' defence. 38 metres in the opening two tackles of this set. John Wilson. Looking at a piece of club history. Beats the 5-8. Beautiful inside ball. And Daniel Fitzhenry will collect his second of the afternoon. What a day for the Tigers. Tremendous try there by the Tigers. But put it down to the rookie, the, day, the, the debutant, Benji Marshall. He was the guy that put the footwork on. He was the guy that had the night scrambling. He got a quick play of the ball. Here we, here we see here, Benji Marshall, look at his footwork. If he's not a player of the future, then I haven't seen one. Not, but when he gets tackled, gets up, plays the ball nice and quick, and the Knights are really scrambling, they're struggling. And we see Nicholas Withers get a ball out wide. Now, this tackle should have been made. But Johnny Wilson, big and strong, he gets through the, through the defensive line and offloads once again to Daniel Fitzhenry on the inside, running support play. And he goes over for yet another try, and, well, this score could be anything. He had Benji Marshall there. This is the young man. Jersey number 14. There's certainly signs of brilliance there. Pearson. Withers. In fact, it's Marshall. Well read defensively by Daniel Abraham. Driving the Tigers back a little. Easy metres! for Lincoln Withers and an easy, easy try for the Tigers. They continue to impress here at Campbelltown Stadium. Well, that was an embarrassing try on that occasion there. Lincoln Withers, he just dumped his way through, but it was just soft defence. Once again, the communication in the defensive line wasn't there. It was Jobson on the inside, it was Anthony Quinn on the outside. Under 10 minutes remaining, 40 the difference. Hughes, they have an overlap on the right-hand side and Gidley exposes it. It is nothing more than a consolation try. The State of Origin Centre scores out wide for the Newcastle Knights. Miles, who has been used sparingly by coach Tim Sheens this afternoon. By and large, to accommodate the young man playing the ball at the moment, Benji Marshall. Good second man ball with Ben Galea. 75 metres earlier, perhaps he'll do it again. The Tigers are coming in support. Lincoln Withers, that would be just reward. Everything is going the Tigers' way. And that's worth smiling about for Lincoln Withers. Once again, they hit the 50 mark, but once again, they hit the Tigers coming. Benny Galea, tell you what, is he on fire today? Two tackles remaining, 30 seconds. 
Fitzhenry, boot to ball. Hughes is there. And Hughes is wrapped up. They will barely have time to take the goal line dropout. As they have done for the previous 78 minutes, there has been variation. There has been good commitment, and they are playing with confidence. Congratulations to Tim Sheens and the West Tigers. It has been a dominant performance here at Campbelltown. 40 points the difference. The Tigers defeating the Knights to the tune of 52 points to 12.